Hi, welcome to HBA's Virtual Alumni Week. I'm your host, Leighton Hara. I'm a class of 1995 graduate, and I'm also a son of HBA, meaning I went here from kindergarten through 12th grade. Um, it's a pleasure to be here today. And just to like, give you some background information about me, I am a managing partner at the law firm of Ota and Hara, and I try to give back to HBA by plugging into the alumni network and by hiring HBA alum as law clerks, um, office mates, and even associate attorneys. So I know it's been a while since a lot of you have been back here. Why don't you come with me and let a lot of my um, alumni friends show you around the campus on a campus tour, virtually of course. Come on. I'd like to take this opportunity to explain a little bit about the Hawaii Baptist Academy Alumni Association, which was started over 10 years ago to help foster networking between recent graduates and the current alumni in the state of Hawaii and abroad. The Alumni Association helps raise funds for various things to help the school, including student scholarships. Since I've been on the board, we've issued about six scholarships that have gone to students to help offset their tuition or schooling needs. Um, in addition to donating time and money and energy, you can also donate by just giving yourself back to the school, helping out with the fun fair or um, you know, teaching students or coming back for career day and explaining certain things. But speaking of the Alumni Association, I have, I'd like to introduce you to my friend and president, Luther Beck. Hey Luther. What's up Layton? How's it? How are you? Good. How's it everybody? My name is Luther Beck. I'm uh, the HBA Alumni Association current president and a 2004 grad from HBA. I have Christine Yamashita with me. Hi guys, I'm Christine Yamashita, class of 2005. I recently joined the Alumni Association. I'm the current vice president and I'm really excited because we have a lot of great events that we can talk about. Yeah, so some of the events that we have right here on campus, we have volleyball here right at the gym. We also do a bowling tournament out at Aiea Bowl. It's a lot of fun where a lot of family and friends can fellowship with different classes. We also have some great new buildings here on campus that I haven't seen in a while. If I'm not mistaken, I think it used to be an old locker room, kind of dingy, and now and a nice basketball court that I remember playing with my friends. Now it's this beautiful building, Christine. It's the Art and Sciences Building. It was built in 2013. I've actually never seen it before, so I'm really excited to check it out. Hi, I'm Leighton Miyachi. Aloha, I'm Esther McDaniel. And I'm from the class of 1984. And I'm from class of 1986. And we're standing here in front of the Eagle Donor Wall that's in the Arts and Science Building. That was dedicated in 2014. I give back to HBA in many different ways. First off, I had a son here that graduated in 2019 and I am a legacy parent. I also do serve on the board of directors for the Alumni Association and I was one of the founding members as well. I also did coach volleyball here many years ago and we were quite successful. And I've been able to financially support the school at times and if you notice, Leighton and I are wearing Hawaii Baptist Academy Alumni Association shirts. You can get one too if you come out and serve your school as an alumni on the board and we're always looking for more volunteers. So get involved. Aloha, I am Jennifer Harada Okino and I graduated with the class of 1989. I am inside the Library and Learning Resource Center on the high school campus. It's a modern facility equipped with online and printed resources available for inquiring minds to learn. I reconnected with HBA about five years ago through the Alumni Association. A classmate of mine was serving on the board of directors and one day she asked if I'd like to join her, so I said yes. Since then, I've served as vice president, president and chairperson of the scholarship and funfair alumni booth committees. Why I give back to HBA is because it's a connection to my past. After I graduated, I was only focused on my future and HBA was the furthest thing from my mind. Of course, they, they sent the occasional postcard, the annual newsletter, but it was a sympathy card that really got to me. I received it not long after my mother passed away and then another one the following year when my father passed away. It was a gentle reminder that my past was still a part of me. Fast forward to today, I love getting together with my classmates. Granted, we were a mixed group of kids, and some may even call this rebellious. While it seemed like we could never get our act together, something clicked along the way, and we pulled together in more ways than one. If I need volunteers for the fun fair, they're there. If I need money for scholarships, 
they're there. If we need to vote in our classmates for best poke in Hawaii or best women's basketball coach, we're there. And most importantly, last year, we got together to honor two of our friends, our classmates, who passed away. These are the people who knew you when you had braces, when you had glasses, bad hair, and bad fashion, and when you tried to dance when there wasn't a dance. These are the people that knew you, and you can't hide from it. So through my experiences, I would like to encourage all alums, new and old, to stay connected with each other, reach out to each other, and support each other. Because no matter how far you may stray from the past, it's what made you, and it will always be there for you. Aloha, my name is Kelly Williams. I live on Oahu, and I graduated from the class of 1990. I'm standing here on the beautiful Dan Kong Middle School campus, which was built in 2006. When I was here, this area was formerly the senior parking lot and tennis courts. I'm a proud alumni, HBA parent, and board member of the HBA Alumni Association. I support HBA and am thankful to give back by sending my younger daughter here. She has attended HBA from kindergarten and will be a junior next year. I've enjoyed watching her grow, develop a strong Christian foundation, and able to have happy memories that I'm able to live through through her. I enjoy serving on the HBA Alumni Association as a board member. By participating through this organization, I'm able to continue the legacy and help to foster networking and relationships for our alumni, which is supported through present and future HBA programs. Hi, my name is Kimberly Char and I graduated with the class of 1988. I'm standing here on top of the Senior Pavilion, which is also known as the Senior Area, that was built as part of the high school's expansion in 2013. It's been a blessing to be able to come back to HBA and see all that has happened here and what God has done with the, with the school. I initially came back to the campus because my daughter became a student here um, in seventh grade and I got involved with the fun fair and continued that through for about five years through her junior year and then I also had the honor of being the project graduation co-chair and being with, involved with all those activities allowed me to see the students you know interact with the teachers to see all the faculty and to see what God has really done with the school and how it impacts the students you see them learn about Christ and begin to grow and walk with Christ and that's always amazing to see being a graduate of Hawaii Baptist Academy and after my daughter graduated last year, um, I had the honor of being asked to be part of the board of the Hawaii Baptist Alumni Association, which I now serve on. And being able to reconnect with um, classmates and people that I went to school with in all age ranges has been really a lot of fun. You know, just reconnecting with people, making new friendships, and just being back on campus and seeing the students and how we can help, you know, further their education here and beyond as well as um, share with them our experience here while we were students. Because I would like all students to know that, you know, how my experience was here and what it's done for me in my life and that they always have a home here at Hawaii Baptist Academy. Hi, my name is Taryn Bohan. I'm a daughter of HBA from the class of 2010. I'm here in the Dan Lu Gymnasium, which was built in 1983 and is one of the finest facilities in the state. Among the other facilities are the Geiger Conditioning Center, complete with weight training room, state-of-the-art athletic training facility, and new locker rooms. There are also outdoor volleyball and basketball courts on both the elementary school campus and the middle school campus. I've been a part of the volleyball program since fifth grade and was lucky enough to play on the elementary school campus and here in this gym. Since I graduated from college and moved back home, I've been an assistant coach with the girls varsity volleyball team for the past five years. I absolutely adore coaching. It's one of the best experiences I've ever had in my life. And what makes it particularly special is that I get to teach the girls some of the lessons that I learned, as well as some of the lessons I wish I had learned a little sooner in life. One of the really special parts about coaching here is that I'm on a staff with fellow alumni, and I can honestly say, I don't know if there's another coaching staff that really cares about their school the way that we do. It's really been a privilege to teach these girls that they're not just playing for themselves, but they're playing for their parents, for their families, and for this really special school. I've also been a part of the Alumni Association for the last six years as one of the past presidents. And while I'll be rolling off, 
I'm really looking forward to staying connected with all of the people that I've made friendships with and work relationships with over the last few years. Aloha, I'm Courtney Nasso, class of 1989, and I am here at the lovely Hawaii Baptist Academy Richard Bento Elementary Campus. HBA acquired this campus from the Sacred Hearts Convent School for the new location of their elementary campus, kindergarten through sixth grade. As a result of HBA's long-standing relationship with the sisters, this property, which was appraised at over $18 million, was sold to HBA for $14 million, interest-free. This beautiful 10-acre campus includes a beautiful chapel, chapel courtyard, computer lab, theater, library, play courts, an innovation station for the STEM program, and the beautiful Great Lawn, where the school's annual fundraiser, known as the Fun Fair, is held each year. You can find me working at the Fun Fair in my daughter's class booth, as well as our alumni booth, where we have a friendly competition to see who can round up the most of their classmates to work in the alumni booth. I am not too proud to say that my class of 1989 always shows up in force and wins. HBA has a very special place in my heart, so I strive to give back as often as possible and in a variety of ways. Through the years, I've been blessed with opportunities to serve as a career day presenter to the high school, mock trial coach, the mistress of ceremonies at the HBA Legacy Awards, a guest speaker at various events, and my daughter's class parent ambassador. I'm also currently serving as a secretary of the HBA Alumni Association Board, where our primary purpose is to raise funds for our Eagle Pride Scholarship, which is awarded to an HBA junior or senior every year. For more information, please check out our website at hba.net slash alumni. Thanks so much for coming with us on this virtual tour of HBA. We hope it brought back fond memories of the school that we all love and graduated from. Now, if you want any more information about the school, feel free to look us up on the web at www.hba.net. Thanks again. Take care and aloha.